Okay, so you are uh, a little more than one year removed from your accidents, and uh, uh, the big golf tournament is coming up uh, this week. Can you sort of speak to the progress that you've made over the last year and um, how that's kind of exceeded the expectations of some medical professionals? Um, I think because I was naive in my stuff that it really helped me more than anything. So for me, like, I told people that I was going to be out on the golf course, you know, next year when we were talking to people and I was taking some, I couldn't move my hands at the time or anything. So Jackie was taking the phone calls, but guys were calling me when they were out on the course. And I'm like, next year, next year. And, you know, I wanted to, at that time I was like, I'll be back walking and playing golf in my head, you know, but the fact that I'm even where I am is, to me, like, I say lucky a lot. I mean, part of it is that, because if it, my neck breaks and it's a full break, you know, a few things go different. Somebody touches me wrong on a trampoline or they move me, or EMTs move me wrong and every, something gets severed a little more. I'm not, I'm not here. Like, I'm, there's no way that, you know, but because I worked hard and those things fell in place, I mean, that's that's why. But, like, people like Brandon and my friends that are as committed to this as, as I am, I mean, they take me, you know, four days a week. My girlfriend has, you know, taken care of our kids. I mean, everything has gone the right way. I mean, you hear horror stories. There was a guy from some prairie that one of the nurses was telling me about that his wife, he broke his neck, his wife left him in the hospital. I was like, Jesus. I mean, I don't know how people do this alone to begin with. And I think you need a strong support group and everything like that. And I think that's why I'm where I'm at. I mean, worked hard and everybody around me put the time in to help me. You know, otherwise I don't get here. What has been your main source of inspiration? I, you were mentioning that the therapy is very challenging. Um, the improvements are, you know, one small step at a time. What's what's inspired you to keep going and, and fighting through those difficulties? Um, I mean, my girlfriend a lot. I mean, she, when we were laying there, it was basically, you know, you're gonna walk and I'm like, and if I said anything other than like, well, you know, we can prepare for this, she just wouldn't hear it. And then, you know, my kids, you do things like that where you don't think you're going to be able to do anything with them. You know, you can't. I, at the time, my son was six months old and then not being able to pick him up or do any of that stuff. And then you start to gain back those little things. Being able to pick your kid up is huge being able to shower by yourself being able to do all these little things that those little things that you didn't think you could do is what keeps you going for everything else i mean being able to golf isn't a big thing to a lot of people but from where i started just being able to golf is huge and it's not it doesn't look good but it, it'll get better i mean it's like everything else it's gonna it'll if i keep doing it or whatever it'll get better if somebody like brandon takes the time to take somebody out and just let me drive around with them in a ball here and there you know that kind of stuff like if you don't have friends like that that are willing to do that stuff with you you don't get better i mean you just don't that's all